got to get a view of the first day on the tournament track. It looks ugly, and it truly is. First cast. Not even doing an intro. We're gonna catch a fish in the first cast. SLX. So S what's the one you have? It's SLX DC. Oh, DC. It's yeah. this one except, except uh, whatever, digital controlled. Except it makes a buzzing noise when I cast it. I know, it goes woo. Good one. Good one That's so oh. nice, dude. Let's go. Cool. It's actually pretty good. That's a good fish. Hey. All right. We're in the game. All right. Let's get the scale. Let's get a picture. Just because it's, hey, we got a, the first, first one. Good christen. Just Came smashed it. Huh? Oh, boy. Let's go. First largey. Oh, you're so beautiful. All righty, guys. So I wanted to catch a fish before the intro because I feel like, I don't know, that's just what I wanted to do. But uh, we're out here on the coastal lake for, uh, well, it's a freaking bass tournament. It's Silt Coos Lake. I'm not gonna bat around that one too much. But we're bass fishing in a tournament, a big boy tournament, not a, not a kayak tournament. Uh, Cameron and I think that if we get like top half of a group, we're gonna be pretty stoked. If we do better than that, then holy you know? <laughs> but that was the first fish. We're pre-fishing today. We're gonna. We're basically just jetting all over the lake, trying to find who knows what, seeing if there's a pattern or something. And that was on our, on my favorite, hands down. You see me catch a million of fish on this thing, green and white spinnerbait. If you ever see me fishing for bass, high likelihood I'll be fishing with a green and white spinnerbait. Let's get back out there, catch another one, and yeah, maybe it'll be bigger. <laughs> Nice! Good one? Uh, Ooh, it looks good. Yeah, good one. Let's go. Oh, oh. Uh, we don't have a net, so you're gonna have to lip it. <gasps> Nothing happened. We're good. That was like a four or five pounder. That was a good one. Yeah. That was like legitimately a four pounder. Like, I don't know many bass, but that's, that was bigger than any of the smallest we got. Fish on. The bigger one. Okay. Listen. Okay. All right. So keep it down because that other dot's right there. Um, oh my god, dude. He's already been caught. That's a small one, so they were spawning back in here. All right. So. Keeping him hidden. There's another bass boat that we're being careful of. Look at that size of that mother guy. Three, three. Yeah, dude. Okay, that, that confirmed everything I needed to know about that other shit. Let him go. Dude. And, uh, One quick look. Oh, <laughs> Cameron. Nice. Yeah, pretty. It's alright one. 
Oh, that right one, dude. That's a nice one, actually. That's that one. Is it a head? Yeah, she's fat. Come here. And I have a spinner bait, which only has one hook. Well, I feel like you're going to, oh, that's a good, dude, that's a fat fish. Fat it's than fish. I was. Shade. She was deep under that tree. I like it. Let's go. Yeah, fish number like three. It. Uh, it's got to be bigger than the first one. No doubt about what it. What about the second one? The three, three? Fatter for sure. I'm just trying to guess. I'm saying two and a half. Two and a half. I well, think she's kind of I think fat, three. Though. I think three even. Yeah. Almost oh. three. Almost three. Two eight six. I said two and a half. You said three. It's perfect. Yeah. Let's go. Sick. We found some sort of pattern. Third fish of the day, guys. We we're finding a pattern. We'll let this beautiful lady go. Come on. Seemings underneath trees, real tight to the bank with some shade. Laydowns have been. Well, no, that's not really even a laydown. Uh, yeah. Underneath tree cover, in the shade, close to the shore. That's what we got so far. Bing. We put our first waypoint in there. Update for the day. Well, for the day, it's later in the afternoon now. We've caught only those three fish so far and we've kind of been poking around and finding some not so amazing spots. We still got a couple hours left before we have to think about getting off the water. Nothing to do today, so we're gonna fish it all, all the way through. And we really want to find a couple more spots because having one fall, well, having one go to doesn't sound like the most, the most solid plan that we can, uh, that we can assemble. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, we were too excited. Uh, got to the new spot, and uh, yeah, surprise. You know, just wanted to pull a fish out of out of nowhere. Let's weigh this bad boy. What are you guessing? I'm gonna say three. Three. He's not as fat as that other female you got, but he's bigger. Three. Oh wow, almost three three again. Nice. Three two four. Boom. Yeah, three two four. Job. So we got three or two threes, a two and a three quarters, and a one and three quarters. Beautiful looking fish though. No, she hasn't been spawning. She's still yeah. all clean. All right. See you later, lady. On it. The problem is, I am trying everything I can to catch them on anything else yeah. but a spinnerbait. Spinner. But fuck, if that spinnerbait's going to get us there, <laughs> then I will fucking cast the spinnerbait till I will have four rods of spinnerbaits yep. on them. Oh, fish on. Yes. I annihilated it. Not as big. Yeah, you look, no. that one looks pretty suspect, honestly. Yeah. Oh, this and you is know a what's female, funny? Sure. And you know what's funny? How many casts did it take to get her? One right there. One right there. Oh, okay. Yep. Lit, is he over 12 inches? Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. Easy 12. Look at this tiny little girl. She's so fat. Jess is going to appreciate this belly. <laughs> Look at that, that pudge. Yep, Jess likes the fat fish. Oh God. Okay, lady, we're gonna let you go. Oh God. We're gonna let you go. But not before we show you off to the camera. All right, see you later. She was aggressive. I saw the, I saw a black shape just bolt and destroy it. Oh, so we got off the water and basically just died. Like we got warm and it turns out that we're both incredibly tired. Overall successful day. We found five, we have five marks on the map, which is pretty good. Uh, I think we got six or seven fish. Uh, one, the high, the biggest is like three and a half, three, three point three, a couple three point threes. And then down from there, Cameron hooked a really big one, but lost it. Really the, the pattern was literally underneath low hanging trees in the shade. That was like five out of six of the fish. So we're gonna we're gonna take that information tomorrow so we have one more day to scout. See if 
that holds true and then go from there. It's gonna be a lot colder tomorrow, so who knows if the bass are gonna be moving. So we might be completely new pattern and we have no idea. We have all morning and then mid afternoon to test and figure it out. And then after that, we're gonna, I don't know, do something crazy. But yeah, we'll see you in the morning after we pass out and hopefully catch more fish. talked about it over we just completely ignored it in practice. What's that? Sorry, it got super cold, so who knows if they're actually up close anymore. He's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> chasing it for a little while. <laughs> I was like, you gonna take it? You gonna take it? <laughs> oh, I can do this. Ah. First dink of day two. All right, you guys, so as, you, as we left you yesterday, we found a pattern. Now we're back on day two of our scouting trip, trying to prove that pattern correct, which so far, it's not been the case. It's like 15 degrees colder today, and it's probably a big reason why whatever we did yesterday is not working today. But we're catching a little, little guys, a couple little ones. And we're gonna keep looking. Maybe something will happen. But if we figure out what's happening today, then we have such a leg up tomorrow because it's gonna be cold tomorrow too. And a lot of people who didn't have a chance to pre-fish might not have any idea what they're doing in the cold. So that's hope, our, our hope. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Quick, quick update with a guest, guest appearance from our California new buddy. He's chilling on a, on a stick there. <laughs> uh, update, no other, fish have been, no other fish have been caught. Kind of struggling here, but it's early. All right, well, wildlife update over. See you later, bud. And it wouldn't be a fish and forage video without some audio issues. So the audio died for most of this day. The summary is that the pattern we found on the first day didn't hold completely true on the second. It got a lot colder, the fish moved away from the shallows. We were struggling. I think we only caught like four fish on that day. We did find one other place that they were biting, so we put some marks down. Uh, it was wacky, wacky rig Senkos deep against logs. With that and the spinnerbait bite, we had two tools in our pocket. We had about five or 10 marks on our map. That was basically all we had going into tournament day. And tournament day was another cold day. So we couldn't really lean on the techniques we got from our scouting day one. We, we really just had to rely on what we did on day two and cross our fingers that, you know, maybe we can make something happen. That was the end of day two. We did end up having a semi good idea of what we wanted to do on tournament day. Anyway, guys, on to the big day.
Second draw is Alkaline. Ridiculous. All right, our plan is a go. We actually got the second draw, which is why I didn't have much time to film anything. We, just, we just bombed out of there. So it's game day. Ooh, Everything so far is going to plan to a T. I was like, he was catching me, and then I trimmed out, and then like right at the end, I was like, yeah. I got another three or four miles out of it. You need a bigger motor camera. <laughs> our green skier thought she had her. The old VMAX could take. So yeah, not much camera work. I'm gonna be focused on fishing hardcore, but I'm sure she's gonna show you the big fish we catch. Yeah, my hands are a little numb. Okay, so. Good job, Miss Mercury. <laughs> Let's go. You chatter baiting? Uh, spinner baiting. When you fish fast, I fish slow, and he won. Like I said, kind of island. Like the island is going to be right to the point, so let me know if you keep it on. That side again, too. Uh huh? Keep on the other side, probably the other side. Let me know if you even start to go and you keep your eye on. We gotta keep it out there. We're no, everything. 12 inches. Dude, you can control it. Make sure it's 12. Dude, no, I can check my whole thing, dude. Yep. Yep. First. Cast. How do I turn on the. How do I turn this thing on? Camera? First cast fish on. You just put one in. I can't believe that. You're kidding me right now. What just happened, dude? <laughs> my lucky socks on. That's why I got a fish on the <laughs> <laughs> You guys at home, my wife got me lucky socks. It's working out already, hopefully. Thanks, Jess. <laughs>
good start. Dude. Okay. First so step of our plan. Shit. First step of our plan, naive, success. That's a great start. Can't complain. Good start. Being I think we're the, and dumb. We haven't even seen anyone catching my fish. Anyway, yeah. next spot. Let's do it. Second spot. Let's go. Where do I want to go? Between? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. No. What? I'm with you. No. You. <laughs> We've watched four or five people fish primo docks that didn't catch anything. After the first three fish right off the bat, everything slowed down for us. We hit a couple spots that we had luck on the first day pre-fishing, but we're pretty sure the cold front pushed them all deep and they were no longer anywhere we could find. Then we went to our plan number two, which was the slow playing these wacky rigs up against these stumps, which is where Cameron caught a really big one on day two. But we sat around there trying to poke at these logs with wacky rigs for probably two or three hours with no luck before finally giving in and going back to hunting around for fish, which we didn't really want to do, but we just weren't having any luck with what we thought would work. So we had to, we had to fall back on scrappy strategies. Dude, he tapped it once and I went, I went, oh no. And I'm like, oh, that's a stick. And then he just fucking drove. That's the biggest one yet. We have nothing to lose right now. All plans are out the window. We're at four fish. Four fish and 20 knot wins, baby. Yeah, there's like, so it pretty much eliminates 90% of the lake that we kind of want, would, would rather go fish. Yeah. Nice. What are you gonna do? There's white caps on the lake. We just need one more fish for five and then we can worry about culling. Fish, 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 fish. Oh my god, get him in the net! <laughs> Little guy. You got a big mouth. But five. Ooh. Is it 12 now? Yeah. Okay. Taking your word for it, but so this is our cord. Yep. I'll get him. I'll put a tag on him. I feel like we don't probably need to tag all of them. Not right now at least. Five fish. Five. We're gonna have a full little scorecard. Whatever they give us, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we definitely fish here because there's that. Drift boat, drunken slide. Yes! 
That's a nice one to call. We'll throw that red one right out. We'll worry about the next one there. That's a nice one to call. It's a good fish, Zach. Yes. A little prior knowledge scouting right there got us that one. Yep. And the first three. <laughs> Woo! Up in the reeds. Yes! Yes! First call out. Come on now! Whoop. I thought I got caught in the reeds and it kept pulling. And he didn't even fight for a little bit. I was like, what's going on? Oh, let's go! Well, that about wraps it up. Now we're gonna get wet on the way back and hopefully get top half of the group, which is top 16. We got five. We definitely didn't skunk. We definitely got enough to fill a whole bag. Plan A worked, plan B did not. Yeah. So, what are you gonna do? First time to the lake and first tournament, so. Yep, that's it. Now, a wet ride back. Ready? Cycling in for weigh-in. Oh, I didn't put Where's the other bag? It's... I handed it to you. God, I always f*** this up. <laughs> See, I'm terrible at weights. Like, salmon, I can look at it and be like, Oh, it's 18 pounds. Like, all day long. We had four three pounders. It's pretty respectable. Yeah, we needed that fifth. Yeah. I thought they were all like two. They look small when you look at the top of them. Not gonna lie. I wanted to. 13.87 for five fish, which put us right where we thought we would be. 16th out of 32nd. So there were a lot of other good fishermen there. A lot of good fish were caught. We were expecting middle of the pack. We were hoping for middle of the pack and we got middle of the pack. So we're not too upset for our first time on that lake and our first time on the boat or my first time in a bass tournament. Honestly, that, I feel like I did pretty good. So thanks Cameron. You know, if you guys haven't checked him out yet, he's on Addictive Fishing. Thanks uh, for having me out there. We're gonna have some more tournaments this year. So look forward to even more bass action on that little boat. And also thank TBF Oregon for putting on uh, this tournament. It was a lot of fun, great time. I'm gonna put their Facebook group in the, in the description below. So check out TBF Oregon for more uh, local bass fishing information. But until next time, thank you all. Hit that thumbs up button. It helps me a lot. It helps the, it helps the channel a lot. Take care. And keep on fishing. Keep on foraging.